it followed us. So basically, me and my dad were out visiting family members. It was a cold December night on Christmas Eve. Our family members lived out in a whole nother state, so we wanted to go visit them before Christmas. So, it took us around four hours to get there. And they lived way back in the woods. So we were happy to see them. We spent all day there, just me and my dad. And then when nighttime got there, we had to get back home before Christmas, because we had all the presents with us. And we wanted our family to have a good Christmas. Basically, we hit the road again. On GPS, we wanted to get the we wanted to get the quickest road back to our house. So the GPS put us on some back road. It said it was a shortcut. But by this time, it was snowing. We already had it into snow on the ground, so we were still driving. By an hour later, cars started spitting and sputtering and just cut off. Basically, my dad got out, popped the hood to see what the heck was going on. He didn't, he couldn't find out what happened to it. it just cut off. It, ha it had a half tank gas in it. And then we, get, we were sitting there playing with the key, and then we turned it on and off. He went back and checked the fuel pump. And the fuel pump went out. At this point, we were fucked. There's already like two and a half inches of snow on the ground now because it's only been a whole hour. We looked at the weather on the radio. It said they were calling for a foot of snow. And it was cold. It must have been 28 degrees. It was around 12 o'clock. So, my dad said that we should walk to get help. He told me to stay in the car, but I was like, no, we walked together. Cause basically, we ain't, we ain't ever been on this back road. We don't even know it's back here. So we wanted to walk and find help. So we locked the car, put a rag on the window, people would know we broke down, and started walking. We weren't really that prepared. We had a little pair of gloves. And we didn't have much of winter jackets. We just had like a... We had like a little jacket that wasn't that warm. And we should have been in coveralls. Okay, it was cold. We weren't prepared for that. And the flashlights we bought weren't that bright. They only really light up like 10 feet in front of you and that's it. As we started walking. About 20 minutes went by. By that time, about three inches of snow on the ground. It was starting to get a little deep. And it was wet snow, too. That whole time, we didn't. No cars went by. There wasn't even no track from other cars. So we, we couldn't flag nobody down. Because there was no cars, there was no houses. So we kept walking. And my dad kept getting this feeling that we were being followed by something. So that started creeping me out a little bit. That we so often we saw our flashlights behind us. But we didn't see shit. But a bunch of snow falling down. By this time, our feet were numb. Because that wet snow was. Our boots weren't exactly waterproof, so they started getting soaked, and our feet were freezing. So we kept walking, and there was still no signs of any house or vehicles. By this time, we now walked about two miles, and didn't see nothing. 
And then my, my dad said he, he could hear footsteps behind us. So we stopped and looked behind us. There was nothing there. So we started walking, and then we started changing our footsteps. So if something was following us, we'd, they'd mess up, and we'd hear them. Or whatever it was, we never did hear it behind us. My dad said, let's walk back and see if there's any extra footprints behind us. Because there's only be two sets of footprints, me and my dad. We walked back there, and there was footprints running to the other side of the road. At this point, we all just stopped and stared at the wood line where the footprints went. We were kind of in shock because we weren't armed. We didn't, we didn't even have a pocket knife on us. So we didn't know what the fuck to do. My dad walked over there with his flashlight and started sign in the woods. It almost seemed like whatever it was, the footprint stopped as soon as it hit the wood line. There was nothing there. Basically, after that, he walked back over and said he didn't see no other footprints. And he said they stopped as soon as they got the wood line. So at this point, we're creeped the fuck out. Like, we're scared shitless. So we kept walking. Kind of like speed walking to get help quick. By this time, it almost sounded like something was running up to us. We turned around real quick, there's nothing there. If we started walking again, and the same sound, like something running up behind us, we turned around, there was nothing there. Basically, we just, we wanted to get the heck out of there. We started walking really fast, trying to find help. Basically, we seen, we seen a light up ahead. So basically, we almost ran to it. And we got halfway to it, it disappeared. So he was like, whoa, what the fuck? It disappeared. It fucking disappeared. And then, all the way on the other side of the road, when we walked over there, there was footprints leaning in front of us. Like whatever it was, then walked by us. So he said, it must have been, there's something that was following us and in front of us now. And it kind of speculated to like a human, because who would have a flashlight out this late? By this time, it was like 2 o'clock. It was freezing cold. Snowing still. Our hands and feet are numb. And we still couldn't find no signs of help. We kept walking. And then we saw, then we seen truck lights. So he tried to flag him down. He just blew right by. It looked like an older F-150 with like a snowplow in the front, but didn't even stop. That made no fucking sense. Why wouldn't they stop? My dad said that maybe that was the flashlight we seen, or was that the person following us? And then we kept walking, and like you can see the tire tracks, and it ended in the middle of the road, like it just appealed there and drove by us. That gave us cold shield. We were like, "What the fuck are we dealing with?" Basically, his phone had no signal, so we couldn't even call for help. He tried to call nine one one. There was no signal at all. Cause we could have got signal. We wouldn't have to leave our car. We could have called for help or 911. But we have no signal back here for some reason. Not even a single bar. And his phone was about to die too. So we kept walking. We must have walked five miles already. With this weird sick going on. 
we eventually did find some little cabin or something on the side of the road. We ran to it and knocked on the door. Some old man answered. Basically, we asked him if we could come in and warm up. He said, go ahead. He asked us why we were, what we were doing out there so late. We told him our car broke down. And he said, that happens around these parts. He said, a lot of times, that all these broke down cars, you never see the people again. They just get towed away. At this point, we're freaking out. Like, what the fuck? He asked him if what's going on with the something thing following us, you know what I mean?